coming to you from Australia, it's Idiot Box Radio. Please welcome the hardest working type 2 diabetic in podcasting. It's Idiot Box Radio with your host, Tori. Yeah. <laughs> this is something in the way. Mm-hmm. Something in the way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like the mic's in my face. It feels like I'm a fucking disgrace. Move it out of its place. That was fun. Hey there guys, Tori here, Idiot Box Radio. I hope that you're super well. Making sure that you uh, go to idiotboxradio.com, support, sub- support, sub- support, support, subscribe, and uh, please do share the channel with your friends. If you know anyone who you think may enjoy this, please be a part of my street team and share it on out with them through your social media shizzes. Thank you. I'm a man of action. I see things, I observe them, and I hear them, and I wonder the most bizarre, deranged stuff. And to be honest, uh, friends, um, I'm pretty sure that you guys will too. I'm I'm pretty sure that what I think, I was mucking around with the microphone then, I was trying to bring it closer to you. I'm pretty sure that what I think isn't always like, you know, I've, oh, I've got such a zany thought. No one would have ever fucking thought of that. No, I am more than aware that a lot of the time, you guys probably think the same messed up stuff too. But I do like saying it out loud to, are you fucking kidding? My cat's sitting on my notes and licking its asshole while looking at me. Oh, well, it's the price you pay for having a pet that loves you and wants to be near you every time you do a show. Where was I? Zany thoughts, fucking crazy times. Cat. Um, I get distracted. I probably need my own booth to do this show, I reckon. But yeah, you go through your life and you have all sorts of dumb thoughts. Well, I do, and I'm guilty of it. And I guess the only difference is that I've got a, a medium where I do share those dumb thoughts with you. But And sometimes these shows aren't the longest of shows. I almost feel like they're a vlog or a personal diary that I'm sharing with you. But basically, the thing that I was thinking about today and I wanted to extrapolate upon it was, do you ever, like when you go into your supermarket or your grocery or your convenience store, do you ever like look at what the person in front of you is buying and wonder what the fuck they're trying to make? I I try to invent meals based on the shit that I see in the cart ahead of me and sometimes it's just like you just think to yourself what the fuck are you doing dickhead not to them to me I'm like why am I even trying to make up a meal based upon the fucking I don't know the shit that this person's got they've only gone in for toilet paper and baked beans and I'm like how are they combining them what are they doing with that what are you doing with the shit that you're buying why aren't you telling me why isn't there a notice on the back saying tonight I'm thinking of having, I don't know, toilet paper for heaters. I, I really don't know. And like I said, this is one of those shows. It doesn't go anywhere. It's just something that I thought of that I thought I'd share with you. And at the end of the day, I guess it gives you a bit of an insight into this. But also, do you guys think of stuff like that? Do you think of, you see weird things combined or stuff, you know, stuff in someone's shopping trolley that doesn't make sense. And you think to yourself, fuck, I want to know what you're doing. And that inner voice, that voice of torment, just torment, that voice of torment just Screams Like, what the fuck are they doing? What fucked up concoction are they going to be making next? Honestly, you guys have got no idea, but directly there, there is a cat's bum hole looking at me and my cat attending to it. Um, just, just when you're done. Just when you're done, mate. If you do want to see what he looks like, I, um, I did uh, hold him up a couple of shows ago because he came nearby. At the moment, I don't want him to come anywhere where he wants to lick me. Because, um, yeah, that yeah, a lot of washing is taking place. But I digress, and that's just something I do. I, I can't help that. But um, basically, the whole, what are you making? What are you doing? Why are you buying this thing? Like, why are you buying that? What's the, the, the most random shit? Like, they come in and they buy a bottle of weird fucking sauce but then there'll be a banana and they're walking out with that it's like did you go in for the banana and buy the sauce did you legitimately come in for both of them are you combining them like inquiring minds want to know more that is the general gist of this particular show it has to be a vlog it's i can't say it's a fucking comedy special but it is something that i'm sure goes through our minds sometimes it's like how the fuck are you gonna eat that what are you doing with this like are you cleaning the toilet I don't know why it's the cat. He's moved onto his paws now. Yeah, just crazy shit that you see in the supermarket and crazy shit that you can't rationalize or justify with your own head and you just wish you could say to them, excuse me, excuse me, I'm Tori, how you doing? Um, Now that we know each other, what are you doing with that? Excuse me! In any case, it's a vlog, it's a thought, it's a process and it's something that just, it's been in my head for ages and I thought about it again today and
And I've been meaning to ask you guys, do you do the same thing? Like, do you look at things that people are buying and wondering what the hell are you, why have you got that? Or it's like, you know, you've got a box of 20 scissors. Now I would make the uh, assumption that you're either a scissor reseller or that you're a school teacher and you're buying them for your classroom. Like, but I don't know the answer and therefore I want to know the answer. Like, why are you buying those things? Why are those random fucking disconnected things in your shopping trolley? Because it makes sense. Like if I was to see like roast lamb or lamb and I was to see potatoes, pumpkin, you know, zucchini, um, then I'd imagine that you're cooking food to eat it off a naked body or a plate or a plate. It might be a plate, but it could be the other thing as well. I, I mean, I don't live with you and you've got the right to do what you want as long as there's safe words involved but yeah when it's the disconnected shopping list I've got no idea what you're doing and it blows my fucking head apart so yeah that's a show it's Idiot Box Radio it's a look inside my head I hope I don't scare you away I'm just hoping someone else feels like that and um, yeah so uh, yeah thank you cheers yay